Hi, Howard School. Uh, Dr. Hughes here, and I'm here with our new yoga instructor, Yogi Wu. Hi. So Yogi Wu is going to be a part of our morning rituals, and she's also going to be joining us for a number of afternoon sessions. We're going to have a hangout with her soon, and we're also going to be um, doing live yoga with some of our middle schoolers and recording some sessions for some of you that are joining us on Seesaw. Um, so tell me a little bit uh, about yourself, Yogi Wu, about what exactly is yoga and why would this be a positive thing for our kids? Sure. So about me, I've been teaching yoga for 10 years. Um, I've worked with all ranges of people from little kids all the way up to like 80 and 90 years old. <laughs> um, for me, the practice of yoga is the practice of really waking up to the way in which your body and your mind are connected and using yoga breathing and using movements that we do to decrease stress and to kind of bring the mind back to the present moment because <laughs> it's always wandering and looking back and forward whether we're anticipating homework and assignments or wondering what's happening with everything right now in the world it's a great way to kind of tune into the breath and bring ourselves back to a hopefully slightly calmer space <laughs> great thank you um now can you talk a little bit about space in terms of what my students need to be prepared for I know that this morning we're going to do it a little bit differently, but um, what can they do to prepare for these sessions in the morning and in the afternoon? So uh, a lot of what we'll be doing is going to be somewhat modified, especially in the, in the beginning, so that everybody can access it. We can do things that are going to be seated. You could be like on the couch like we are today. You could be seated at your desk. Some of the things might be on the floor. You do not have to be on a yoga mat, but you can be. You could be on a towel. You could be on a blanket. You could even do some of the stuff in your bed. <laughs> We're going to kind of modify in whatever way we can to make it accessible to everybody. Great. Um, and finally, uh, we have a lot of parents at home, a lot of little siblings or older siblings, maybe kids who are, who are home for college right now. Um, what do you think about allowing them to participate as well? I think that would be amazing. I think everybody should participate if they're up and willing for it. Great, so <laughs> we're gonna have some family yoga sessions that maybe we can offer to our Haworth community. I think that'd be wonderful, so. Hey guys, <laughs> so my name's Laura Wooten, otherwise known as Yogi Wu, my new name. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm here today with Evan, who's in fourth grade, and Daniela, his mother, and Dr. Hughes. you might know this guy back here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do a little a gentle session today. You're welcome to be seated for this one. Um, you can see Evan and I are sitting crisscross applesauce, but there's also an option to sit at the edge of your seat with your feet planted. And when your feet are planted, you can just have them a little bit apart and make sure that your feet feel really nice and grounded. And you'll sit a little bit forward. So if you're in that option, you'll sit a little bit forward so that your hips also feel grounded on the seat. So we're gonna start today by just resting our hands. You can rest them somewhere onto your thighs or onto your knees, whatever feels comfortable. You can have the palms facing down and then close your eyes. And not doing anything just yet. Simply notice what your breath feels like coming in and out. In our practices, we'll mostly be breathing in and out through the nose, but there are some breathing exercises we'll do where we incorporate mouth breathing. For right now, just breathe in and out through the nose if that feels possible for you today. And maybe let your breath get a little bit longer, a little bit more full. And as your breath gets more full, let your belly be soft with your breath. Notice how your belly rises and falls. So a lot of what we do in our yoga practice is we connect to our breath because the experience of the breath coming in and out is always present, unlike the mind, right? Our mind is always looking forward and back. So we anchor our practice on our breath to help us come out of that constant whirling of the mind. Let's take two more breaths here. And then we can float the eyes open. So sometimes things like that happen where your phone goes off <laughs> while you're practicing and that's okay. It's part of the practice because 
we have this concept that yoga has to be perfectly silent and still, but that's not what we're doing. What we're doing is we're learning to be okay with all of the fluctuating circumstances that are happening around us all the time. <laughs> so our first breathing exercise we're going to do is going to incorporate a little bit of mouth breathing. It's called lion's breath. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. It's a very, you get to make a silly face. And then <laughs> one of the benefits of doing this on camera is that no one's going to see you. <laughs> Sometimes people get nervous about that in class. So what we're gonna do to start is you're gonna bring your hands out to the side. You're gonna have them in a gentle fist like this. And we're gonna make a face. So I'll do it once and then you can, and I'll walk you through what it'll look like. You're gonna take a breath in. And then on the exhale, you're gonna open your mouth, stick out your tongue and <sighs> spread your hands wide like that. So we're stretching the hands and we're releasing jaw tension. We're releasing tension in the tongue. This is a great thing to do in the morning. It also helps to release some of the stale air that's in the lungs. So we're gonna do that. Let's do three together. So we're gonna take your fists up the sides here, take a breath in, and then exhale. Good, take a breath in, exhale. Good, one more time, in, and exhale. Good, and then release your hands back down, close your eyes one more time, and pause a moment. So these moments when we pause, we tune into what that feels like in the body. Notice the sensations through your chest, through your throat, through the nose even and just observe what you feel. And then float the eyes open. And we're gonna roll a little bit through the neck. So I'm gonna say things like inhale this and exhale that. If you're not doing it exactly the way I say it first, it's okay. We're just trying to cultivate an awareness of the fact that we're breathing mindfully as we do these things. So you'll take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring your chin down towards your chest and then inhale, roll your head over towards your right shoulder. Your ear will be right over the shoulder. And then as you exhale, roll back down to center, chin towards your chest. And inhale, roll over to the left shoulder. And exhale, back down to center. Inhale to the right. Exhale to center. Inhale to the left. Exhale to center. And this time, inhale to the right and stay there as you exhale the breath. Pause here. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. The head is heavy. Relax your jaw, maybe part your teeth. You can stay just like this. You might reach your left hand a little bit out to the side. You could ground that down onto the couch if you're on the couch, or you could just let it be in the air if you're on a seat. Take a deep breath in and out. Again, in, this time sigh it out. If you stretch out that left hand, release that first. And on your next inhale, very slowly draw the head up to center. Exhale the breath and pause here with the eyes closed. Notice what that feels like. Notice if you can feel a difference between the left side and the right. And take a breath in. As you exhale, bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale, roll your head over towards your left shoulder. And exhale, pause there and breathe. Relax the shoulders, relax the muscles of the face and the jaw. Maybe part the teeth. You can stay just like this, or you could reach your right hand a little bit out to the side. Take a full breath in and out. Another breath in, and then sigh it out. And on your next inhale, slowly draw the head up. Exhale the breath, release your hand, and just pause. Notice how that feels. And you can float your eyes open. We're gonna do shoulder rolls. So you're gonna inhale, roll your shoulders up, and then exhale back and down. So inhale forward and up, and exhale back and down. Just keep going like that. Remember, if the breath is not exactly what I say, it's okay, right? Is this as long as you're breathing mindfully? And we'll switch and go the other direction. So you're gonna go inhale back and up, and exhale forward and down. Good, 
Just do one more like that. And then you can release and pause. And just notice if you tensed it all in your hips, relax your hips, relax your thighs, soften your belly. And take a full breath and draw your shoulders up by your ears. As you exhale, sigh and drop. Again, inhale up. Exhale, sigh and drop. One more time, inhale up. And exhale, sigh and drop. Good, and you can float your eyes open if you haven't already. Bring your hands together at heart center. So at the end of a yoga practice, we say a word that's called namaste. There's lots of different ways to translate this, but the essence of it is basically the light within me honors and recognizes the same light within you. And so we'll finish our practice today by saying together, namaste. Namaste. namaste.